Hi, everybody. Where's Coco? You want to come out, Coco? How's everything going? Here's your glasses. Here's your glasses, sweetie. There you go. Here's your glasses. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. Hi to the people who watch the next day. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. Coco's playful. What are you doing, Coke? We did a video today. She loves doing those videos. You know, the uh, reading the book and all that stuff. I have my video to-do list here with books and everything. And she just stares at them longingly. So funny. So funny. Tomorrow can't come soon enough. There's still clumps of blood, red blood, coming out of her when she goes pee. So that's no good. Tomorrow her regular vet comes back from holidays. And we're on her call list and hopefully she makes uh, Hopefully she makes room for Coco. <laughs> Coco! <laughs> you not. You not. I don't know if she has an appointment. Uh, hopefully she'll squeeze her in. It's kind of a strict clinic, but... That vet really likes Izzy and hey! You got the sillies tonight. You got dog hair. Okay, where are we? So, yeah, so this is what's going on. So, Izzy is still peeing blood. Oh. 
You hungry, sweetie? What about you, Sid? Yeah, Izzy, t tomorrow she goes, hopefully they can fit her in, and uh, she's not eating, and she's peeing blood. Anyone have any ideas? Like, they did the ultrasound, and they saw a tumor on her liver, but could, could it be, because when you Google uh, senior dog blood and urine, I mean, it says cancer, but that can't be... She takes pain medicine. We actually had increased it. Uh, we increased it last week and then we decreased it to wonder if that's why she's getting sloppy. Her back end is getting uh, weak or like losing power. I took her out this morning and she fell down fell down the last three stairs. It's not like she fell, it's like her, it's like this. It's like, it's like, the back end is just like that, like nothing, like there's no power, like it's paralyzed. So she dragged her butt down the stairs, but she had to go pee so bad, she just peed all over herself. Like with the back end, the back end is like flat on the ground. But it comes and goes, right? And I thought, okay, well, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, um, maybe she has a bladder infection. Then maybe, maybe, uh, I woke her up too fast. I don't know. I was up a lot last night with her, making sure she had to go to the bathroom. She went outside to go to the bathroom. She doesn't want to pee in the house, so. I don't know how many times I got up three times. That's okay. I don't want her to feel bad. Yeah, bladder infection. Hopefully that's it. Well, she did that have that bacterial infection and she was having discharge, right? And she got uh, creams and pills for that. But she's always had kind of a weaker bladder. But wouldn't they have done the ultrasound? We already had her ultrasound last week and it, sh it showed the, um, it showed the, like, say it's like a, say like it, the cancer's all through her and it's just, they just spotted the one tumor in her liver. I don't know. I don't know. You want to sit with me or you want to sit in here? Want to sit up high? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's take a look at her. There she is. Coco threw the sunglasses at her so she moved. But they, we did have the, we did have the ultrasound. There's no, there's no, they should have done a, you know what I mean? We did have it. So. I don't know. 
Thomas Wilder. Just anything but the bladder. Mild bilateral age-related renal changes are seen. The adrenal glands measure to the upper limits of normal can represent early pituitary dependent Cushing's disease. Okay, what are you doing here? With this patient sedated, further imaging of the liver was obtained, which also revealed some small hypopolyponodular areas throughout the remainder of the liver. Measuring up to 1.5 centimeters in diameter. It doesn't say anything about the. Uh, it doesn't say anything about the uh, bladder. Oh, thank you. Hold on. Thank you, Linda, Doreen, and Karen. Thank you so much, you guys. What are liver stones? No, we're ah. talking about BC. Ah. Yeah, cancer. Like, did you have any other tests done, Chris? You just saw blood in the urine and you put her to sleep?
but it's not like, oh, I'm, like, yeah. I mean, her quality of life changed right away after Ellie died, anyways. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very traumatic. Very traumatic, Linda. Very traumatic. I can't even go there. I can't think about that last week, Belly. I try to, I only think about um, when they were younger or how bad they were. Those are my favorite memories. That was the best part of those dogs, is how crazy bad they were.
and Angie actually clicked the link. Okay, better check the numbers. Make sure. <laughs> we might have to pull out another feather, won't we? We'll have to pull out a feather. Not another one. We never pulled out. No. Is there someone that got this number? Okay, let's see. long gone now because everyone reported. Oh yeah, that lady. Couple one 
So we got cocoa glasses. Did they come yet? It needs to be stars. Uh Philip, don't sorry. Thank you though. I put up my own glasses. Okay. We get back to our story. You guys 
always miss the glasses. Okay. Anyway, so then couple three women flirted really badly with all the males that would be at the party. Like all of them. Like it was embarrassing. Like everyone around was kind of embarrassed. Couple three men didn't say anything, right? Anyway. So couple three started saying that couple one, couple three's girl started saying that couple one's girl was uh, best friends, they were best friends. And couple one's like, that? Couple one, like, there's no such thing as best friends.
now it's two, three years later. Couple three woman kept trying to contact couple one's woman and explaining, you know, turning it into drama. And couple one's woman just did not respond at all. At all. This couple one doesn't care. Right? Couple one's got their own life. Couple one's woman has their own life. And they're very busy with it. And they have they have family that they need to worry about and take care of. And all sorts of stuff. They got a lot of stuff going on. So whatever. One less person, who cares? So anyway, so now there is no couple four, Sharon. You're mixing everyone up. Oh. So couple one, couple one, so there's a big party this weekend, and couple three's invited. So couple one, couple one, doesn't care, but Couple one's husband is worried that is that worried that his wife is going to be mean. There's no couple five. But couple one's wife doesn't care. Like doesn't care enough to eat the baby. There's no couple four. Peoria. 
That video was a lot of work. There's a lot of good videos coming to Coco Town. So you guys got to be ground zero, right? Quality videos. All Coco Town is ground zero. If ground zero doesn't see these quality videos, then no one sees them. Coco wants to be the face of all bird. Everything bird, right Coco?
have to get the magnifying glass. Then I can't respond to you guys. Oh, you woke up, Cookie. Good thing you didn't fall over. You fall asleep like your dad does. Guys, okay, listen. Bag of chips, meatloaf. I love special bread.
duck into the pen then. Sit's kind of smart. Sit's not kind of smart. Sit is smart. But she thinks she's more like a person. She, she doesn't understand why she's a bird. Kiwi's spoiled, but she's always kind of been spoiled. No, no, no. She wasn't spoiled the first few years, but she just thinks she's like the upper crust. You know what I mean? Like if there's a, uh, uh, what is it? If there's different classes in the house, like high class, middle class, lower middle class, and low class, she definitely thinks she's in the high class part of the world, part of the family. She thinks she's high class. Oh my gosh, obstructions. Yeah, I wasn't ready for Floyd to die. I was not. Try to do a surgery to remove them, but they've done a lot of damage. Yeah, that's like Coco. Ah. That's like Coco. All the damage she's done to her insides because of the things she swallows. Do you ever feel bad when you see people 
behaviors that you're not like being the perfect bird owner by teaching them all this stuff. Bye. 